Tonight we're at the 17th century Workley Top Forge. It's reputed to be very haunted and being close to the infamous Stocksbridge Bypass makes it a location worthy of a visit. Tonight we check out the cottage where screaming has been heard and the works area which is infested with poltergeist activity. This 17th century forge is Grade 1 listed and was related to the lower forge a short distance downstream. Built in 1639, part of the 16th century building still exists adding other parts in the 18th century. Settle down and see the heritage, the poltergeist activity this forge brings in bucket loads. We also hear from a volunteer that knows Workly Top Forge from top to bottom, Ted Young. My name's Ted, I'm one of the volunteers here and we're standing at the moment in the joiner's shop which was one of the operations to keep the forge going. It's now a collection of joinery related things, things and some of our small steam engine collection and part of the guided tour that we put on for visitors every Sunday through the season. Hi, welcome to the channel. Tonight is just tans without sun. I'm on my own and um, I'm at Workley Top Forge. It's a really, really haunted place and uh, we're going to do an investigation uh, of the main house and a part of this uh, forge which is behind the house and we might try and fit a little, uh, a little investigation further down over the other side. It's quite a big place, it's a massive place and um, there, are, there has been known for uh, shadowy figures and uh, there is poltergeist activity in this place as well and it's known for it. It's uh, 17th century, so uh, it's quite an old building, 400 years old. Um, part of it actually was built after that in the 18th century, but a lot of it is Grade 1 listed. And um, it's awfully, awfully haunted. So we're going to see what we can get tonight. I'm going to kick off actually in this work area. I'll just. It's an old mill, um, it's an old forge, it is a water wheel over here. Oops, I can't keep that, uh, got some cat balls down which I kicked. Okay. Um, just let me put the uh, camera on there, I can't see. So, you see that? So we're going to kick off in here. I've set five cat balls up. One did go off actually before I started filming. I've got two REM pods, one there. Uh, that's down there. And I've got the other one on the doorway. Right. Okay. So let's kick off. See if we can uh, bring any activity into this uh, this old place. Okay. Hi. My name's Paul. Come to see you at Workley, Workley Top Forge. 
I know there is quite a bit of activity in this place. Shadowy figures have been seen. We don't know about that and the cat balls going off over there. So get rid of the torch. So this is the area I'll focus in. And it's that that's a cat ball actually what went off a little bit earlier. The same one. So here we are, come to see you and uh, hope you can take part in our little video we're making of you people who frequent these premises. Now, can you tell me your name or give me any indication you're here? Can you move anything? I might hear some water, there's quite a bit of water uh, what runs under here, past here and there's a couple of great big water wheels one at that side and one at the other side so you might hear that okay hello Do you want to come and join us? Put the K2 meter on. Let's see if we can get any anything on that. We'll have a little walk round. It's very dark in here actually. And the problem is I haven't got the sun with me so uh, I can't carry the lights very easily. Hi, I've got a K2 meter in my right hand. You're welcome to approach it. And the cat ball's going off again over there, the same one. And I think that's probably where I need to be. Over this area. And it's stopped. Hello. Cat ball's going off again, look. I have got five cat balls in here. And that is the only one what's going off. So I'm going to stay in this area. And uh, let's see if we can find any residual energy. And it's your residual energy I'm looking for. Right, okay. The cat ball is going up again. Oh, I might move that actually to a different position. Okay. We're going to try the ghost tube, see if we can uh, get anything on that. In the wall up to there. They're not perfect these. 
and I, I wouldn't take it to heart that there's somebody there unless you get a clear area and a figure appears now there's all sorts around see I'm unable to take the light everywhere around me when Xavier is here with me so I'm restricted to small areas and that's probably picking up that wrought iron there you can see there look or maybe that post Hi there, come and join me. Nice clear area there, look. Okay. Anybody with me today? Come and join me, say hello. Just going to remain very quiet. Okay, that's um, that's the uh, ghost tube camera there. Uh, not really picking anything up here, um, apart from the futures. What what they have in here, really. I'm not getting any vibes in here. The cat ball does keep going off. That's about it. So, uh, I've got the REM pod. That's not, that's not run off at all. Okay, so look round. Okay, no. Well, right, what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to have a go in the cottage behind here and see if I can pick anything up there. And uh, hopefully we, we could do. Right, okay, I've moved into the room above the cottage, which uh, there is a team below, South Yorkshire Ghostbusters, I want to tonight. They're doing their own investigation. And uh, I'm in uh, doing an investiga investigation for Tans and Sons. So, what I want to try and get is some residual energy in this room. This room uh, is 17th century grade one listed, and uh, it has been noted that there's been activity in this very room. And I'm going to see what I can pick up. So, I'm going to turn out off the big light. That's it. Just keep it keep it low light. Now what I've done, I've set up four cat balls around me. They're all on the floor, apart from one, and that's on the table. And uh, yeah, so um, we're going to see if we can pick anything up now. There's a Ouija board there that's set up for the other gang. I don't think I'll be using that tonight. So what we'll do is we'll use it as a base for my camera. Okay, right. I'm all alone. My name's Paul. Hope you're okay. Uh, that's my stupid you can hear, by the way. If you want to go and join me, I'm sat alone. Give me some uh, indication that you are here. Can I ask your name, please? Have you got a name? Right, okay. Total silence. There's four seats around me, another three. I've sat on one of them. You want to come and sit next to me on this one of these chairs? Maybe push the chair or pull the chair. Right, 
I just heard something, I don't know what that was, a rattle. I don't know whether they can repeat that up. It's just got a little bit colder. And it's not really cold in here. As you can see, I took my coat off from the last place I was. Right, there's an interesting fireplace in that corner, which I'll show you in a little bit. I mean, how old is that? So, you told me, uh, how long have you been here? You must have been here a long time. It's a nice place to be, isn't it? It's all wall panelled. Jacobean style. I have four cat balls, four, four, three on the floor, one on the table. Do you want to move them? I've also got two REM pods. So if you walk up the stairs and across the little corridor outside this room, it'll pick you up. Don't be scared. You probably, I'm probably more scared than you are. Do you want to make yourself known? Okay, total silence at the moment. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the K2 meter over there just in case it does pick anything up. And I'm gonna put that ghost cam back on the SLS camera. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna have a little spin round. And see if it picks anything up. Okay, there's something by the fireplace. Not sure what that is though. Looks like a small thing, a small person, or is it something to do with the uh, the actual fireplace itself? It's picking, could be picking the fire guard up there, so I'm going to debunk that straight away. picking the chair up definitely okay now then now then we are picking something up here so that is the area I'm going to focus on something there in this corner so come and join me I think we pick you up there there is a cat ball just below you if you'd like to knock it Just bear in mind I am on my own and I haven't got a cameraman with me so if these shots aren't perfect that's the reason why I'm trying to do my own thing and keep the camera in focus as well right so this is the room we're in we'll just have a look at that fireplace that's, that's obviously uh, looks to me like it's 18th century rather than 17th but there is parts of this building what was built in the uh, 18th century added on to the old 16th century building and the, the 17th century building sorry and the part of the 17th century building is still very much there downstairs 
Okay. Not sure what's in here, we'll have a look in there. There's nothing in there. No one go anywhere. Okay. So the cat ball's just gonna grind up that, so that's uh, that's nothing paranormal. Staircase there. So that's the staircase. It brings you into this room up here. So it looks like we've picked nothing up in here. So I'm going to move on to another place. There is going to be a Ouija board session in here later, which I'm not getting involved with, but uh, I'm sure that will be interesting. So see you, see you in a bit. Okay. Quite a few machines in this room. And uh, let's go have a quick little run through this one. See if we can pick anything up. Hopefully we can. Hello. Now we have a team down in the cottage there. Uh, they have picked quite a few people up here, 13 all together. Does anyone reside in this department? Can you rattle something? Move something? Tell me your name if you can. We can pick sound up even if you're not around. Just shout who you are, what's your name? My name's Paul. I think I'll do is I'll get the K2 meter out and uh, see if I can pick anything up on that. Okay. It's a little bit awkward without having a cameraman here. Doing it all myself. Anyway, that's okay. Yeah, the atmosphere is a little bit better when you're on your own anyway. Very quiet. Let's leave the camera running a little bit over there. <clears throat> As you can see, I put the coal back on. It's pretty cold in here. Hello, how are you? Anybody here? I have a K2 in my hand, it, it, it will pick you up if you come towards it, it gets your residual energy coming towards me. So if you can see the K2 meter there, come towards it, let me know you're here. 
Those little fairy lights will go up and tell me you're around. Okay. Okay, we're not picking anything up here either. Very quiet. There's a lot of activity down in the cottage where the log fire is, apparently. Now, I've not picked anything up all night, so I don't know. I've had the REM pod on. I've had the cat balls out and I've got the K2 meter and the SLC camera and I haven't picked up anything really worth noting so I'm gonna finally try down in the cottage again so we can pick out up down there and if not just call it tonight so it's very quiet I'll see you down in the cottage Okay, right, I'm in the back room of the cottage. I think this used to be a toilet at one time. And um, there's, heard, there's a lot of screaming being heard in this room. It's a very small room. And uh, there, there is a REM pod outside in the other room. And as soon as I walked into this room, it went off. So, There's a cat ball there. We've got four cat balls in here. I'm going to put the camera down. Just see if I can uh, pick anything up. Okay. Hi. Room. There's a couple of people being picked up, Samantha and Evie, and probably Daniel. Is anyone, any of you even here? Now, I have four cat balls on the floor. Three on the floor, sorry, and one there on the, on the top. Would you like to move them for me? I've been told there's quite a bit of screaming heard in this room. Is that you? Right, there's a music box that happens to be in here. I'm going to switch it on.
Right. Okay, I moved away from them. Might be because I was pretty close to them, but I'm quite a distance away from the music box now, so it shouldn't go off. The cat ball's going off, look. I'm going to turn a couple of lights off. Okay, we are getting some response in this room. The cat ball's going up on the floor. Thank you very much for that, if that's you. And the music box, well, that's debatable whether it was me what was fairly close to it and it was picking me up, I don't know. But I'm miles away from it now and it's not picking me up. So if you'd like to step forward to the music box, which is on the top, it will play music for you. What about touching the cat ball? You've already set that going. There's four cat balls in here all together. And really, yeah, there it goes again. That's me. I think. Right, thank you very much. I believe we have got somebody in this room with me. I just need to find out who you are. Now, I'm Paul, that's my name, Paul. Do you realise what year we're in? If you do, set the cat ball going again. You've done that twice for me. Can you do it a third time? Okay. There is some screaming being heard in this room. Can you let me know you're here? simply by just knocking one of the cat balls on the floor or setting off the music box Right Ok, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the music box off Okay, that's the music box off. I'm going to put the, the camera back on here. And then I'm going to try the K2. Right, I've got the K2 metered out. Just scan the room. Right, this is the K2 meter. What will happen if you come close to me, it will set off and light up on the fairy lights there. There's five fairy lights there. Can you get it right to the top for me? What about the cat balls on the floor? Can you set the cat balls off again? See, the cat balls now aren't moving at all. They're not lighting up. Um, I'm pretty close to that cat ball on the floor now. And that's not not lighting up either. It tends to light up when I'm well away from it, which tells me there's something around it. But we're not getting any indication on the K2.
Right, we'll wrap that investigation up in this little room. Just finally, we'll have 30 seconds quiet. See if you can tell me who you are and whether you're in this room with me now. a team in there um, doing their own investigations and uh, if, if my camera's picking that up it could be them. Having said that, I'm not picking anything up here so we'll move on. Okay guys, I'm in the main engine room. Turning, there's a lot of turning machines here. We'll bring that down this and we'll pass. Okay, I'm going to go up this section here because there's been activity um, here tonight from the other group. There is a rent pod set there, so I'll keep you on that. Okay, I'll debunk that with the cassette following me. It's probably picking me up as well. Okay, right. I'm quite away now from the machines down there. The rim pods are set up. So they shouldn't go off unless they're any activity. To be honest, it feels it here. It feels very here. See you to have a chat. I'd like to know if anybody's here with me tonight. Right, look a bit activity was uh, felt up here tonight. So I've come to find out whether you're still here or not. I can feel the vibes in here actually tonight. This is the only room I've really felt uneasy. Is that you walking behind me or in front of me? Can you hear the floorboards going? Okay, I'll continue to walk. Hello? Put the camera down there. The cameraman is so handy, you know. So handy. Hello. Why don't you come and join me? Have a little chat. I'm all alone tonight in here. Very eerie. I can tell somebody's in here. It feels like something's with me tonight in here. What about 
we're setting the REM pods off down there. We're going to walk downstairs. Um, there is some red pods set up down here, so you'll probably go off and I pass them. Um, let's go down. We're coming up to one now. Yep, yeah, that's gone off. Ignore that, that's me. Okay, there's a red pod there on the floor. Okay. Okay, let's see. Right, okay. Would you like to come and join me down here? I'm all alone. There's a door here. Oh, right, it's just a boiler room in there. There's a fire exit, so I would imagine it goes to the outside. Uh huh, it does. Right. Not why it's come on. So we'll go back through the red pots. Wait for them to be quiet. And we'll give it one more shout. So, I'm all alone. Come and keep me company. This is a very, very old building, isn't it? And I guess you've been here a very long time. There's a Ouija board there set up. Yeah, it's not something I really get involved with that often. I have done one or two, but uh, it's not for me. I guess they'll be doing that later. Yeah, with me are the South Yorkshire Ghostbusters. They're in uh, the different parts of this uh, Gigantic place, really. It's really big. It's loads of buildings. It's worth coming uh, for a visit for half a day. Uh, if you fancy it, if you've never been, it's interesting. And there's a miniature rail. It runs outside as well. Right, okay, final shout. Final shout. I've now put my camera on a Ouija board. Come and say hello to me. My name's Paul. Keep repeating that. My name's Paul. What's your name, please? Speak loudly. The camera might pick you up. The shadow figures being seen around in here, there's poltergeist activity as well. Okay. <coughs> That's somebody else who can deal with that. No, not really. Right, we're in the main room, lovely log fire burning in the corner there. We're going to finally try this room. I'm not going to use any equipment at all. There is REM pods set up in here anyway, uh, but I'm not going to touch those. So um, I'm going to turn out the lights. Just have one light on, I think. Hi, my name's Paul. 
There's been two or three people talking in here today. Samantha, Evie and Daniel came forward earlier in this room. Can you give me any indication you're in this room with me now? Can you move something? Okay, there is people outside. I'm in here on my own now, so uh, this is where they all congregate in here. So I'm getting the chance to do it on my own while they're outside. So we're all alone. The lights are out as you like it. It's nice and warm in here. The fire's on. Come and say hello to Paul. My name's Paul. Can you tap on the table like that? Can you throw a stone? There's little bits of stones around on the floor here. It's a concrete floor. And let me know you're here. Right. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to give 30 seconds silence to see if we can get any indication you're here. There is a person in the room with me now, so that's okay. The noises is picking up from the person, that's not a problem. Big light on. I'm now on my own again. Uh, right. There's quite a lot of rooms in this building. In these, in this, in the whole grounds, there's loads of rooms. I can't cover them all. And um, I'm going to wrap this up here today. It's uh, Workly Top Porch, and uh, it's been pretty quiet as normal. Um, what I try to do is try and find anything what, what, what's here, any atmospheres, any uh, ghosts, hauntings, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't disbelieve it, I don't believe it. So I'm sort of a bit on the fence with it, but if you get any indication that something really does happen, that'll um, be a lot better for me to see and understand what's happening. Now, I've seen people using dowsing rods in here tonight. It looked pretty good, but are they really moving the salts, you know? I don't know. I'm not one to say it is or it isn't what it is, you know. But what I can say tonight, walking around this place, I haven't picked up on anything really, apart from the odd cat ball going on. And uh, the music box in there did go off. But I think if you get too close to that, it goes off anyway. And the REM pod, funny enough, when I walked into the other room before this, it did go off in this room. Um, so maybe there is something in this room. It certainly has pick, been picked up tonight in this room by a few people. And there is a Ouija board in the, uh, the upstairs room across the, across the way there. I'm not gonna get involved in that, but uh, I'll leave that with them. So from Townsend and Son, without the sun, at Workley Top Forge, I'll see you again at the next venue. Thank you.